Currently, there are more than 64 million cases of COVID-19 globally, with above 44 million recoveries, and sadly, about 1.5 million deaths. Across the US and Europe, COVID-19 still rages. However, if you look at the African continent, you will see that there were fewer cases on the African continent. And the question is why? Now, the answer lies in the fact that the African continent has been dealing with different kinds of infectious diseases and therefore has learned the importance of investing in epidemic preparedness. In 2015, our firm, EPI Afrique, evaluated the African Union's support to Ebola across West Africa in Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. For two weeks, I led a team across those three countries, interviewing different people to know how the African Union's response went. We interviewed community members, we interviewed government officials, health workers, Ministry of, of Health officials, international partners that were supporting the response at that point in time. And one thing that was clear to us at the end of that evaluation was that Africa needed to invest in epidemic preparedness, knowing our peculiarities. And also, most importantly, the African continent also needed to take leadership in coordinating infectious diseases response across the continent. And so, the Africa CDC was born. From those recommendations, African countries went to work. In Nigeria, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control in 2017 organized what is called a Joint External Evaluation, or JEE for short. And what JEE tries to do is to help a country know its preparedness to find, to stop, and to prevent infectious disease outbreaks, and by so doing, protect its citizens. At the end of that particular JEE, Nigeria scored 39%, which was our ready score. It meant that Nigeria was not ready at that point in time. And so the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, supported by different partners, went to work. They went to work to fill different gaps that were identified. And I think there are three gaps that are very relevant, you know, and underscore the kind of response Nigeria mounted against COVID-19. You cannot respond to an infectious disease outbreak if you don't have good, reliable, and timely data. And to achieve this, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control had to invest in digitizing the data collection platform from a paper-based platform to an electronic platform. And as we speak, all the 774 local governments in Nigeria are hooked up to a SOMAS software platform for real-time electronic data collection. And of course, NCDC is just an agency of government. It cannot do everything on its own. It needed subnational level states to take responsibility. And to achieve that, what NCDC did was from 2017, they started to support states to set up what is called public health emergency operation centers that are run by the states so that states can take leadership within their domain to find, to stop, and to prevent infectious disease outbreaks, and by so doing, protect their people. As we speak, 31 out of the 37 states in Nigeria have public health emergency observation centers supported by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. And of course, a very important aspect of surveillance is having a good network of laboratories. As at the time the first JEE was done in 2017, Nigeria had just one national laboratory as part of its network. By the time we started responding to COVID-19 after the index case in February 2020, we had five. But now we have more than 90 laboratories, molecular laboratories, as part of our national network of laboratories. That means that the nation is able to test faster, quicker, and respond to this particular outbreak. By the time the Nigeria Center for Disease Control did another JEE, a mid-JEE this time around in 2019, Nigeria had appreciated in its course from 39% to 46%, which is a 9 percentage point increase. And that's significant as far as epidemic preparedness is concerned. 
So one begins to understand the kind of response Nigeria mounted against COVID-19 from these levels of epidemic preparedness and why, you know, we're doing very well in that response. However, even in how well we've done, we've also learned lessons that we can take for future epidemic preparedness. For instance, we've learned that it is much more cost effective to invest in epidemic preparedness than to respond to an infectious disease outbreak. So because of this, the federal government of Nigeria, state governments, local councils must keep investing in epidemic preparedness so that we can nip it at the board. COVID-19 has shown us that once an infectious disease outbreak happens, it can wipe up businesses, economies, it can kill people. The second lesson that we've learned in responding to this COVID-19 that would help us prepare for future outbreaks is the fact that the private sector is a very important stakeholder in responding to epidemics, pandemics. In Nigeria, the coalition against COVID-19, otherwise known as CACOVID, really is supporting the response heavily. They've raised more than $70 million to support the response. And those funds went into setting up isolation centers, upgrading labs, increasing our lab networks, providing palliatives to poorer members of our society. And indeed, palliatives is one of, also one of the lessons that we've learned as far as responding to this pandemic is concerned. Because with COVID-19, cities were shut down, were on lockdown. And in our economy, lots of people earn on a daily basis within the informal economy, and they needed some kind of support, the poorer members of the society. One lesson we've learned is that preparing for the next pandemic, we need to really invest more in our social security sector so that we can get it better next time. I'm also the director of a project in Nigeria Health Watch called Hashtag Prevent Epidemics Niger, which we've been running since 2018. And we have a mantra, you know, we've been repeating since 2018 that once it comes to infectious disease outbreaks, it is no longer if they would happen, but when COVID-19 has shown us this. And because of this, we really need to invest in epidemic preparedness. However, it's a global village. Nigeria cannot do it alone. Africa cannot do it alone. We have to operate as a global community. And operating as a global community also means that countries, richer countries that are still dealing with COVID-19 must swallow the bitter pill and learn from Africa and Asia's response to COVID-19. Because at the end of the day, it is cheaper to prepare for an epidemic than to respond to one. Thank you.